The latest now on Ebola in the United States. A man who worked for a medical company in Texas is now in isolation because he had contact with the Dallas nurse who has Ebola. 70 other hospital staffers who had contact with the patient who died last Thursday are also now being monitored. As CBS 4's Adriana Diaz reports, the World Health Organization released a startling statistic today about Ebola. A male employee at the Fort Worth, Texas medical company, Alcon, has been identified as the one person who had contact with Dallas nurse Nina Pham after she started showing symptoms of the Ebola virus. They are both in isolation at the Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital, where Ebola patient Thomas Duncan died last week. Pham contracted Ebola while treating Duncan. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention believes there was a, quote, breach of protocol and that Pham may have gotten the virus after removing her protective gear. We were just shocked, stunned. But and, a nurse who was uh, trained by FAM said she was meticulous about infection control, hand hygiene, and protocol. Knowing Nina and knowing the kind of person she is and the kind of nurse she is, I know she would definitely do it again. She's always somebody who's willing to take, take on the difficult patients. 70 other hospital staffers who also had contact with Duncan are now being watched for signs of Ebola. Officials say FAM is in stable condition and the person she had contact with is not showing any signs of being sick. The World Health Organization said this morning there could be as many as 10,000 new Ebola cases per week by the end of November. So far, there have been nearly 4,500 deaths. In Dallas, Adriana Diaz, CBS 4 News. And count on CBS 4 con for continuing coverage on Ebola in the United States, both on air here and online at CBSMiami.com. We will have more later tonight, starting at 5.